Fourth grade lesson 10.4 is parallel and perpendicular lines. Our essential question is how can you identify and draw parallel lines and perpendicular lines? Let's unlock the problem. You can find models of lines in the world around you. For example, two streets that cross each other model intersecting lines. Metal rails on a train track that never cross model parallel lines. Here are some vocabulary for different types of lines. Intersecting lines are lines in a plane, a flat surface, a plane is just a flat surface, two dimension, that cross at exactly one point. So here we have a line going this way and a line going that way, and they do cross each other at one point. Intersecting lines form four angles, one, two, three, and four. Line HI, line HI intersects with line JK, line JK, at point X. So this line intersects with this line at point X. This also can be written this way. This is how you read it. Line HI is written this way. Line HI and line JK. Line HI and line JK intersect at point X. Parallel lines are like train tracks. They're lines that will run parallel to each other and never intersect with each other. They will just run side by side next to each other and never cross. Lines in a plane, in a flat two-dimensional surface that are always the same distance apart and parallel lines will never intersect. They will never cross each other. The way I would read this is line DE is parallel to line FG. Line DE is parallel to line FG. To write it, I could simply write line DE this little symbol means parallel, line FG. Nice and short compared to this, right? I would still read it the same way as this. Line DE is parallel to line FG, but this is how I would say it and this is how I'd write it. This little symbol means is parallel to. Perpendicular lines are intersecting lines, but they have one special rule they must follow. They're lines in a plane that intersect to form four right angles, so they go straight directly across from each other and form the four angles like these do, only their right angles must be a 90 degree angle. So they meet up almost like a T while they go through. So it, it continues on through like the intersection uh, on a highway or on a roadway. We would read it as line LM is perpendicular to line NO. Perpendicular meaning they cross at 90 degree angles. To write it, it's much shorter Line LM is perpendicular to line NO, with this symbol meaning perpendicular to, because they meet at a perpendicular point. So those are the vocabulary for this lesson. Let's take a look at this inner, these streets here. Tell how the streets appear to be related, right? Perpendicular, those are these. Parallel, like this, or intersecting in any other way other than 90 degree angles. We're gonna look at West 36th Street and Broadway. Let's see, here's West 36th Street and here's Broadway. They intersect right here, but they do not make a right angle. They're not uh, perfectly perpendicular to each other. So I'm just gonna say that these are intersecting lines because they do cross over each other. So we'll call that intersecting. I need a better color than that, intersecting. Let's take a look at West 35th Street and 7th Avenue. Here's West 35th Street, and 7th Avenue is right here. So here and here, those intersect with each other, and look at, they do intersect in a way that they make four right angles, so those are perpendicular. We could put intersecting too, but it's more specific than that. It's more accurate than that. It's perpendicular intersecting lines. Let's look at West 37th Street and West 36th Street. Here's West 37th and here's West 36th. These two streets run next to each other and look like they will continue to do so for a very long time. They will never touch, same distance apart from each other. So these are like that parallel lines. Let's do this activity. They say draw and label ray, right? This is a ray. It it's, ends on one side and continues on on the other. Ray YX perpendicular to ray YZ intersecting at point Y. All right, so I'm going to draw and label a ray of YX like this. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. YX. Okay. Then I will draw and label YZ, but it's got to be perpendicular too. So if I have the one down here, I need to go up and down perpendicular, 90 degree angle to YZ. Make sure ray YX, this one, and ray YZ, this one, intersect at point Y because they have that same meeting point. Make sure that the rays are perpendicular. They are perpendicular. They make a 90 degree angle. How can you check if two rays are perpendicular? If they have a 90 degree angle. Name the figure I drew. I drew a right angle. How can you classify this figure? It's a right angle. All right, now I'm going to draw and label line segment QR that is parallel to line segment ST. So I'll start by drawing the line segment QR, Q here, and R here. There is line segment QR. Then I need parallel to this, so running right alongside of it an equal distance apart and never intersecting with it, I need to draw line segment ST. So I'll do S here, parallel to. So now I have line segment QR is running parallel to line segment ST. And parallel, you can see the symbol makes sense because these two lines are running side by side each other. They'll never cross each other. They'll never intersect. And using a figure, this figure here for numbers two and three, name two line segments that appear to be parallel. Okay, so looking over here, two line segments that appear to be parallel. I'll start with CB. Line segment CB is running parallel. That's like this symbol where one the line will go uh, side by side against it, but never closer to it, DF. So is parallel to line segment DF. There's another set of parallel lines in this figure. What if I went this way, CD, line segment CD, is parallel to what line segment? Right, it is parallel to line segment BF. So there is the line segments that are parallel to each other, CB and DF, and line segments CD are parallel to BF. Name two line segments that appear to be perpendicular. Remember the symbol for that is that and we're making those 90 degree angles. So I've got CB, line segment CB is perpendicular. Where is it making a 90 degree angle? With BF, line segment BF. It is also perpendicular to what other line? CB is perpendicular to CD, line segment CD. You get that right angle right there, right? Then we can say this CD, line segment CD, is perpendicular to DF. And then we have also BF is perpendicular to DF. BF is perpendicular to line segment uh, DF. So those are all our perpendicular lines that are there. All right, for four and five, we'll use this model. They say name a pair of lines that are perpendicular. That's the symbol that looks like this. We need a 90 degree angle at their intersecting point. So if I want a 90 degree angle, I'm looking for that little box they draw, and here we go. There's a right angle. So I'm gonna say line HG, HG, that's a G, is perpendicular. So this was HG, it's perpendicular to line FJ, line FJ. And these are lines with the arrows, so I better put the arrows up here. All right, that's supposed to be touching perpendicular. My pen ran out of battery, so now I'm using my finger, so that's why it got sloppier. I apologize for that. Name a pair of lines that appear to be parallel. Hmm, something that runs side by side and will never cross. It looks like this line DC and line FH will continue 
side by side and never cross one another. So I'm going to use line D, C is parallel. This one is parallel to line F, J. So that's how you do those. And that's what this lesson was all about. Again, really recognizing the parallel lines, intersecting lines, and then the type of intersecting lines that give us that right angle, perpendicular lines. That's the focus of this lesson. Hopefully that's enough information that you can get your Think Central done. Let me know if you need additional help.